is going to the PDF, right click and copying the image, importing it into Paint, and then resizing it somewhat, and then using that as a map. Okay, map I'm models. recording it now. <laughs> Okay. All right. Fuck <clears throat> this motherfucker. <laughs> Comes on the twat. All right, where is that I'm looking for? Oh, okay. So, um, Oleg has some uh, some stuff for you. He has three potions. Uh, in his storeroom that he had found that he's willing to part with. And uh, two of them are... Actually, you know, three of them. Uh, all three of them are uh, potions of cure light wounds. I don't... I mean, we should probably just give them to the people who are going to be up front. Okay. Uh, that looks good to use one. Yep. So they're a potion... What were the potions? Cure light wounds. Okay, I'll take one. Uh, cast to level second, so it's one d eight plus two the cure. We ended up getting fifteen gold of loot per person for the looting the bandits last session, right? No, not yes. Yeah, for fifteen gold. We well, we also have all their shit on their bodies. We can probably uh, loot that and sell it back to Oleg. And we are yep. doing healing surges, right? Yes. I did. And your points too. So uh, yeah, he uh, healing searches. Last time uh, I was uh, recording this, uh, for some reason the picture uh, of the of Oleg's tavern that you sent me, Ethan, for some reason uh -huh. it started slowing down the video. Hmm. Like, like one frame per. Five minutes. <laughs> so there's uh, one potion left. One potion? Yeah. Lilith took one, and then um, who else took the second one? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's one unclaimed one. And the 50 gold to divide. Oh, no. Did they give you 50 each? No. Okay. Yeah, he's got 50 gold to give you guys. Split each? No, there's 50 gold. There's 50 gold split between us. So, split between uh, seven people. Yes. That's going to be fun. <laughs> seven. Seven? Oh, that leaves one gold left. Oh. Well, you can always uh, use a communal fund. Uh, like any ex excess gold left over goes in the communal fund used for general party purposes. Just an idea. So who's going to record that? Yeah, just put it. I oh. keep track we, if you guys want. Yeah, we, we need a scribe of our loot. I can keep track of loot if you guys want. I can just split it, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, uh. Um, Zug, the, is that your dog? A picture of your dog? Yeah, it's Gus. But the thing is that um, I'm not going to change any stats. But I know he was a wolf last time. Now he's like a young li a young lion. Because I I realized having a wolf from the sand. Or from the dunes and whatnot doesn't seem kind of, <laughs> kind of right. So right. he's a lion. Well, he looks like a boxer in this picture. He's a um, uh, pit bull mixed with a uh, mastiff. So, uh, so what, type of, uh, what type of pet is that? It, it, it's a lion. Well, that, that's strange because just yesterday I could have sworn he looked like a wolf, and uh, now he, he kind of looks like a, a pit bull mastiff. And, you say he's a, a lion? Well, he's what? he's That's... a lion. He uh, he was uh, given to me when I was uh, when I was three, as all the uh, uh, orcs of the sand do. 
the bright but, uh, the bright green collar uh kind of makes him look like something out of the Scooby Doo cartoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Oh yes, experience points. You also get general experience points for finishing the quest. Uh, Eight hundred, be exact. Awesome. So we'd be at nine twenty at the moment. Wait, what? Wait, eight hundred split or eight hundred each? Rianchi, you need you, you oh, need split. to get you need to get that that uh, by seven uh, that party calculator that Dean had last night. Yeah. Go get that calculator. Uh. So our current XP is a hundred and thirteen. 234. 234. Well, uh, 234? Yeah. yeah. 34. Wait. 800 split between... Nope. No, we got it. We got it. Just... It, it's... The 800 split between seven people plus what we already have is oh. 200. Oh, right. What, we... what did we already have before? 120. 120, okay. So you guys just want me to keep track of the party loot and we can just split it whenever we need it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Maybe. then let me just, um, let me just, how much we got, how much gold did we get total from the bandits that they were carrying? Are uh, you guys figuring that out? I'm actually going to pour my coffee. I just had to make it, make it. Well, we got 15 gold each and there were eight of us, at the, there were seven of us at the time, I think, right? We yeah. have 15 gold each. I know that. So that'd be 15 times seven, which means we'd have, we had 105 gold pieces from looting from the bandits. And we got 50 gold pieces from Oleg. Cheapskate. Um, so it's, that's seven <laughs> each, right? Yep. That's yeah, 100, 155 gold pieces for the party at the moment. Okay. And so, then whatever loot we get off the bandits that we can sell. Yeah, just... just We won't bother uh, splitting up the gold so much as the... Uh, uh, as the uh, experience. But yeah, the gold, the gold, getting... I'll, just, I'll just keep track of it all, and when we need to buy stuff, we can just split it then. Hang on. Alright. <sighs> Plus, I think at some point, we like become we, we start building towns and stuff, so I guess a communal gold pile would make more sense. Hmm. I should probably reset my gold count back to what it was before then. Oh wait, so we didn't uh, split the gold from... Uh... No, we just have a communal pot. Okay, so set it back to what it was originally. originally. Wait, did we have uh, the the money we oh, got shit. from what the... Was it the money we got from the bandits, that was in gold pieces, not silver? Yes. Well, we, we, just, we just rounded everything to gold. Uh. Okay, so we got... <clears throat> We got seven, uh, seven gold each from Oleg, Oleg. and, and then gold from the loot split, which I just piled together from all that, and that actually comes out to a total of one fifty-five. Okay, so I just have to subtract twenty-two from what I've got here. Yeah, and you should be fine. Now that bandit that we captured, is he bleeding out? We already I think we have him tied um, up. No. He's, he's tied up and uh, he's still very much awake uh, at this point now. It's been about a day, so he's been locked up in one of the rooms. I was we interrogate him. Speaking yeah, of which, who well... Entire, who has the entire intimidate here? Yeah. Alright, we're oh. gonna go... Uh, we need to point, point you at the bandit. I thought we already... Uh, found out everything from the bandit last session where his uh, base Maybe. is located and everything. Uh, no, I think we stopped short of uh, interrogating him. Yeah, I think that's where yeah. we left off right before we interrogated him. Also, I'll play good cop because I've got diplomacy. Sure. 
I'll play oh, good. angry, Classic. Good angry, cop, angry bad cop. orphan. <laughs> Pretty much all. <laughs> And uh, you, uh, Guthrif, you, you can you, Guthrif, you can play the uh, the, the rabies infested rat that sits on the, the bad cop's shoulder. <laughs> it, it's gun. quite a large rat, you know. Anyway, would uh, inflicting uh, non-lethal damage help? Okay, but just just so you know, uh, you you can't exactly inflict non-lethal damage by shooting them with your gun. So uh, no, well, but up close, up close, that is. I know, but uh, Lilith has a spell called Touch of Agony, so. Oh, okay. well. uh, all right, let's see if I can't find a suitable uh, uh, token here for where this guy is holed up. We can make an intimidate roll, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> cool. Want to make, uh, want to make a do? Well, let's make a roll. Intimidation. Oh, fuck yeah. Speaking of which, these bandits didn't get here on foot. Somebody go and find their horses. Oh, they're still right out front. Oh, and as he's being interrogated, I just um, let my uh, tell my little panther-like summon monster to just kind of lay on him and growl. I'll watch this. He visibly uh, the whimpers under the weight of this uh, hulking person-eating cat. She just goes and checks the horses. All right, you uh, you do find uh, six. Is it six of them? Yeah, six. Uh, um, well uh, saddled and uh, suitable horses. <laughs> For your use, I intimidate for twenty-one. We pretty he much. Was. I think we just want to know where where his lair is and if um who sent him and what for, essentially. Yeah. You see him visibly wet himself a little bit, and he goes, "I, well, you see, I, I was only, it, they only picked me up a couple weeks ago, and well, uh." They're, 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 I think they're south south of here. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't really know how to read a map, but, but I think it's south and slightly um, uh, west of here, I think. You, uh, need to uh, you can just show us where they are. <laughs> I'll go over uh, okay. really well. I, I don't have to go back, 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 back inside the, the, the camp, camp do, do I? Eh, How many are there there? Are there any bandits there? Oh, uh, plenty of them, including the big, mean, scary lady with, with hatchets. I, I didn't ask her name. She, she looked like she would k kill me if I had spoken to her. How many? He's lying. Come on. At least uh, uh, 15. 16? Oh, we can take those easily. Yeah, that's not that many. Big, big means scary guys. <laughs> oh my god, there were so many of them. Big, now if big I, scary bandits. Now, if I ask a question, do I have to make a diplomacy roll, or do I work off of Lilith's uh, intimidation? Well, since he's uh, sufficiently intimidated, any kind of, any kind of level of... Uh, Diplomacy is going to succeed now at this point. How about torture? <laughs> yeah, well, he's already telling you everything. <laughs> that well, he's going to that, that so are the So, are the bandits uh, stationary, or do they move their camp around? Is their camp fortified, like in a cave, or well built, uh, wooden walls all around? But n not exactly impenetrable. I I I I, I don't think think. Uh, yeah. What would be nice if, if Big Cat got off my back? I um I kind of motion over to my cat. It slowly gets off, but still stares very menacingly at the bandit while growling. 
he gets up and scurries into the corner uh, in what manner he can. What's that? He just gets, he just kind of like staggers up and scurries into the corner and cowers a bit, but he's still talking. So, uh, is he worth anything? Probably a lot. not. Hmm. Do you actually ask it aloud? Yeah. He goes, no, no they, they wouldn't get, give two coppers to, to rub together to get m m me back or a any of us to, to, to be in fact, uh, that to be honest, I, I, I don't think that they would rather kill me instead of save me. So why does Restov have a? So why are we keeping you around? Does well, Restov have a bounty on uh, bandits? I don't think he's asking that aloud. Actually, I could make a uh, knowledge check if I need to, for that. What about the bounty? Uh, well. Technically, you've already captured him, so any bounty that there would be, you would already collect for him. Yeah, I think that's what the 15 gold or whatever the 50 gold that we got was. Yeah. Part of oh. him. <laughs> so, basically, we have no use for him. Well, ac that actually, the... Uh, rations. the and, well... The 50 gold that Ola gave you was, was a personal payment. There is actually a, uh, an active standing bounty of, like, uh, 40 gold per head, uh, alive or dead. So do we get that now? Wait, or? So why don't we get that for the guys we just call or killed? Uh, because the uh, bounty isn't being paid out here in the tavern. Oleg like, has to send word and proof of their death or capture to uh, back to town, and once the officials there get word, they will send the money back. Okay, so we'll just oh. tie them up, leave them here, and let, let Oleg send them off, I guess, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, um... Olag, do you need him? Like, would he work, or do you need help around the tavern? He rubs his chin thoughtfully. Would you trust well, this guy enough? Well, I wouldn't or, think so. Uh, in a day, I am having a couple armed guards coming. They should be here in a day or two. You know what? I think I will take year. on this boy. I think I will take on this boy. He, he won't do anything, because I would kill him if he does. Well... Could I is, tie him behind well, my horse and use him as trail rations because I'm not human and I should be able to consume his, his flesh? <laughs> <laughs> you can consume anybody's flesh, but that's considered an evil act. Yeah. I'm well, um... Here's a... Uh... Here's the deal. If he succeeds... Um, in your expectations, uh, that's good. You just got a uh, free help. Um, if he doesn't, uh, you did mention that you had a shortage of meat, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um, well, I'll be happy to buy him off you at that point. If you, um, if he doesn't meet your satisfaction. Well, okay. You know, like I said, I, I, I am getting, you know, up there in age, and I would like a younger man to help foister on the stacks and uh, the hides and grains and such. Mm. Uh, Just let I, me know if he if he acts out of line or you don't want to keep him. I'll let you know. Get up, boy. And uh, he uh, gets the young man up. At, by the way, he looks to be about 25, uh, maybe 24. You can't really tell because he's uh, he has kind of got that grizzled look of... Uh, of a man who's been living outside for a couple weeks. Anyway, uh, so did we got the uh, location? We got the information? I say we head out. Yeah, let's do that. I'll sidle up my horse. That reminds me, I approach uh, Oleg and ask him if he, what's his most up-to-date map of the region? Let's see. Well, didn't he, the guy give us the location? Well, he gave us kind of like south, southwest ish. Okay. I actually have met for this. Well, and yeah. also, no, here's the thing though. We don't even need, well, you can get a map if you want, but in terms of finding it, you know, we just go towards the southwest and I can uh, use my lion to, to track. Yeah. Blood maps keep us from getting lost, right? 
I mean, there's actually a mechanism in Pathfinder that helps you with survival if you have a uh, a map. Okay. All right. Um, under uh, land map, you'll see a. Uh, there aren't any landmarks on there for some reason because they didn't import them. But I will mark on the map where Oleg's Tavern is. So where is this? Uh, like the in the spot where, uh, you know how you guys went and found uh, the tavern map? Right. Uh, so we go back to Oleg's Tavern? Not Oleg's Tavern. That's a different one. Uh, there's a new one up. I don't oh. see it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Land map. There we and go. Ammo. All right, cool. Loading. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. So if anyone's ready, I guess, suppose we could head out. Yeah, we're heading out. Uh, wrong thing. I did mm. that wrong. Ah, well. I need to, I need to clear the Oracle. Go back to Untitled. Well, no, no, no. I, uh, I just have to uh, get rid of this uh, marker here I put up. Ooh, and I don't know wow. how to do that. Uh, well, I see where the little dot is. We're leaving the blind bitch behind. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. No, she she wakes up the next morning. Where did there we go? go? <laughs> so. Oh, don't worry. No, remember I said that I was carrying her in my um, snuggly knapsack on my back. Oh yeah. But is is this okay? So this is the world map thingy. Okay. She's like a little a little baby bundle. Wait, what? This oh, world, she's C three POing it. Three POing it, I guess. Okay, why is this not showing the circle I'm trying to draw? I can see a circle. <gasps> Do you see the square just, or just the you, circle? You, circle. Ethan, but there, I see a circle. I see a circle. Ethan, there's a marker. Yeah. There's a marker te or token. There. See. Huh? You are here. Oh, okay. You are here. Yeah, that's uh, roughly where Oleg's tavern is. It's the only road for miles and miles. Still loading map. Now, you guys have to remind me, uh, does anybody know off the top of the head about how fast uh, your average horse can travel in one day? Uh... It depends. Is it well rested? Yes. Yeah. Assuming uh, e easy travel conditions, uh, rested horses, everything. Wait, where? I would say that at least 20 kilometers in a day, depending on how fast it goes. Oh, that's right. You Swedish people and your kilometers. Okay. And oh. no metric system, run away. Fuck your metric system. Fucking Imperials. Anyway. Uh. Okay, how far? What what are we no. referring to? Uh, how far a horse can travel in an hour? Uh, in a day. In a day. Um, yes. Each, um, of these, each of these hexes are uh, one point two miles or almost two kilometers. Uh, light horses can travel uh, forty miles in a day, with uh, one hundred and seventy-five to five hundred and twenty-five pounds. It can travel. 28 miles. So we can pretty much cover this. Wait, how, how much can it carry? Um, 175 to 525 pounds. 175 to 525. Are we carrying all these things on the horses? Yeah. Well, uh, all the weapons that you found, uh, you can assume that you sold all the weapons that you found to Oleg at uh, handbook price. At what? Anything that you found on the bandits, you can sell to Oleg at their uh, base handbook price. So what did we find on the bandits again? It was last session. Right? Uh, let's see, I can find that out. We, we can sort that later. Yeah. Let's, let's get, get this rolling. 
You can just tell us how much gold we made from selling them some other time. Oh, he buys at full price instead of half? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, how much did we make? Doesn't matter. Not yet, anyway. Alright, one second. I'll be back. Oh, I was going to mention to this to the party uh, before we he headed out. It probably doesn't matter since uh, uh, the stag lord seems to be our primary concern. But uh, based on a knowledge local check, I happen to know that uh, a man named Jihad is coming through uh, <laughs> Oleg's trade post at some point. Is he Muslim? Um, <laughs> Uh, he has some concern about uh, a temple. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember him saying that. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming. Isn't he coming by in one more day? Uh, yeah. Here in a couple days. I was just going to suggest a man of the cloth uh, coming to a godless land like this uh, might have work for us. Well, uh, so we could either wait around for him and get whatever job he might offer, or we can rush to this bandit lair. Clean the going anywhere. We can we can knock the bandit we can knock the bandit thing out in one day. These yeah. guys are pushovers. Then we can pick up our reward, come back, and we'll have more work waiting for and us. Then we'll you know yeah. send deeper into more sinister temple related. Blah, 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 blah. Get a little bandit workout to warm up. So hell, if we can knock out. Uh, if we can uh, finish the bandits off uh, today and then sleep and then get to the temple all in one session, I would be happy. Because, I mean, a, a wood-surrounded uh, base doesn't sound all that difficult. Nope. We are really on this map. I would much rather... Uh, See what creepy crawlies are going around in the uh, in the temple after we beat the bandits. Are we like still on the world map, or? Yeah, at the moment, I think. I accidentally step on. Well, Olex's it's video. not so much meta gaming as experience gaming in that there are creepy crawlies, or skeletons, or undead, or spiders, or something in in tombs. Or temples. <laughs> it's just the way of things. You come to an old temple. It's looted by bandits who are no longer there. What do you do? You come to a temple. There are spider webs all over it. Oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a temple full of spiders? Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> so then we'll have to roll a whole bunch of fortitude saves. We'll have to roll reflex checks against webbing and... We'll eventually have some point where we use fire. Just an average dang pathfinder. Something like that. I throw a flaming bedroll into the room. I know at one point we had um, this game where we fought spiders as big as wolves. And uh, we had this huge encounter at the end. There was like 20 of them and the queen. And one of us just decided to chuck a, uh, a torch at the walls covered in silk. <laughs> Oof. No experience. <laughs> so we're going to ride over to the bandit outpost first? Yeah. Seems logical. All sneaky and shit. Uchiruf, do you say village? Village. What? No, when you say village, do you say village? Village. Village and Wessel. What? Because that's what uh, Veely sounds like. Every time he'll say, oh, I'm going back to my, my home village. In my vehicle. Village. Uh, village. Village. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, no, no, that's a joke. Yeah, they are village. Uh, it's not as bad as uh, talking like a Russian. So wait, what are we waiting for? 
Better times. Babies. All right. Um, I just had to get my daughter up because uh, she was awake. Got a bolt. Well, we've officially been playing for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Anyways, so, um, yeah, you guys are ready to set out? Uh, yeah. Let's go head yeah. out and get the bandits. All right. Well, uh, since it is uh, getting late, uh, uh, since you guys didn't get much sleep that day, you did uh, rest up at the uh, the tavern. And uh, the next day, it is raining. And uh, as you're having breakfast, a uh, man walks in, accompanied by a big burly fellow. And uh, Antimandus, that's you. Uh, the sec uh, Another guy uh, that you can describe on your own. Wait, all just grabs the rocks map? and takes aim. Which That's... map are we using for this? This is a regularly traveled tavern. Untitled or we we're, back, we're going back to the tavern? We're at the tavern right now, getting introduced to a new character. Yep. But I don't see him at all legs. We're on a different map right now, map. but it's it's fine. Untitled. Right? Okay, well he's just a he's just a tall gruff elf with white hair. He's about six feet tall. He's middle-aged. Ah, how good are you with that thing? I'm pretty good. Okay. okay. You know what? Part of the problem here is I couldn't figure out what kind of backstory I want to make for this character. Does this rely on the D&D &D backstory? Because the Pathfinder site has nothing. Doesn't matter. Basically make up your backstory. own backstory. No, I'm not, I'm not asking for your story, Bob. I'm asking you if you're good with your weapon, and... <laughs> If you uh, want to make some cash. Oh, well, yeah, I'm great. You see, uh, here's the thing. Um, the guy that he is accompanying, you are actually a guard for a man named uh, Jihad Kvakin. So oh, he's already here. Yes, ah. Jihad. <laughs> and he sees you, and he, he goes, Oh, fellows, I have a tale for you if you wish to hear it. Oh if, if it involves some kind of deal at the end. Does it well, involve money? Yeah. Well, like uh, with interest. Perhaps. He, he says, uh... Okay, well, I, I do have time is money. Your tail, please. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, he goes, well, I've heard through sources that a, uh, there's a temple uh, a few days, uh, maybe about a day and a half south and further west of here. Uh, the Temple of the Elk, have any of you heard of it? Would, that wouldn't happen to be ne located near the bandit camp, would it? Bandit camp? I, I've never heard of any bandit camps in the area. I, I just got here. Oleg? Oleg uh, turns and goes, well... I did hear about an old decrepit temple. Uh, he is right, maybe about a day and a half south and west of here. Um, no one's ever been there in years, if I recall. I've, I've, in all the years I've been running this tavern, I've maybe heard one person who's even been remotely near that area. And even then, he didn't go in. There was a, uh, a fierce bear guarding the area he saw. Hmm. Didn't want to go anywhere near that damn thing. So, um, where's the bandit camp I'm located? Good at I'm bears. kind of uh, ask the twist we captured. Yeah, I, he said. I, I thought he said it was towards the southwest. Yes. Just uh, goes and pokes the guy with the knee said, shot out, and asks if it's close. Were you, yeah, were they near any temple? Uh, well, whereas uh, that the the Thorn uh, River. Uh, it's called the Thorn River Camp, he mentions. Right. Um, it's the, the camp, the bandit camp is more south by southwest. Show me on the Whereas, map. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got so many tabs up. It's Use like the, You up. are here. Wah. All right. So uh, let's see if I'm reading this right. Oh, we're already there. 
You can just hold, you know, the space bar. Yeah, that too. Rolled running around the forest. Wait, what is it about the space bar? What? So, we're at Ranchies. Okay, we're that, right there. The first uh, marker indicates where the uh, camp is. Uh, the second marker will indicate roughly where the temple is. Okay. Right there. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. He, he does warn you, though, the bandit, that the, the people at the camp are cut above your average uh, bandit. They aren't cut from the same cloth. They usually, when they send out bandits to do raids, they send out the uh, the younger, inexperienced ones, while the uh, the better, more veteran types will stay back at the camp. Maybe we should check out the temple first. Does anyone find an no. interesting coincidence between a bandit lord who's taking on the mantle of stag lord and then a temple of the elks in yeah. the same region? Well, yeah, it's just a coincidence. I mean, let's not draw conclusions here. Let's just jump to conclusions here. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't looking so much in that direction as all I hear is there's a large, ferocious bear that attacks anything on site at this temple, and there is a bandit camp that is not that far away from this bear's territory. That seems quite illogical. So... If we're able to, my plan exactly what I was thinking is uh, trying to lure the bear back to the bandit camp, take out two birds with one stone. Uh, yeah. Jihad mentions this bear. He goes, "I, I do know um, ab about the bear. There, there's something not quite right about him from what I've seen. I've actually been there uh, myself on a quick trip a few weeks ago, and just to scout out the area." Um, it, it didn't seem right. Something about it was wrong. What was and, wrong? So it's crazed and rabid. You, uh, you can Dude. somewhat, you can almost tell that he's not quite telling you the whole story. Inside yeah. check. Does, does it seem? Does it seem like he's scared? Not scared, no. But it's not like he's telling you the whole story. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he had something to do with the bear. Since he knows so, so is someone it. good in diplomacy, or or are we going to intimidate the bitch? Um, I can do diplomacy. All right, go ahead, make your roll. Okay, and uh, since I'm an investigator, would I be able to uh, use follow up? Uh, what's that do? Let me find it. Um, here we go. Um, an investigator can roll twice on any diplomacy check made to gather information and receives the information for both results. This takes the same amount of time as one check. If the lesser of the two checks reveals false information, the rogue is aware of it. False information is not revealed in this way. If the people she questioned do not know it to be false, this ability replaces trap binding. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. What is my... In the meanwhile, what reward would we be getting for whatever he wants done at the temple? What actually does he want done? Well, I do hear that there are some uh, valuable items to be found at the, uh, the temple. <laughs> like what? That I can't tell. Items you. of value. Valuable <laughs> items. The temple has nice stuff in it, okay. It has a oh. nice... Uh, random oh magical boy. item rolling oh. table in certain rooms. <laughs> okay, your diplomacy check. Very successful. So I approach the, uh, I approach Jihad and explain uh, if you want our help, you really need to be truthful with us. <sighs> okay, look. The deal is this. I had a vision. Uh, a couple weeks ago about this temple. Vision, drink. <laughs> it it told me that this bear, something is wrong with it and it's corrupting the temple. Well? I need you to go there and, and cleanse it. 
Look, oh, you said that you saw you saw the bear. Yes. You've been near the bear, right? I haven't been near it. And to be it? honest, I've I've seen it, but not in person. Uh, the uh, I did not actually scout it out, as it were. I have so seen has? it in my vision. Uh, I think he was lying about the uh, about uh, scouting it out originally because uh, he was covering up for the vision. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. It was a half truth. He's he did see it. He knows what it looks like, but he well, wasn't there. Yeah. Well. Well, we'll see. I when... think he needs to pay us anyway. <laughs> Not just promised loot. But um. At least half. This does fall uh, pro- within the parameters of our charter to uh, well, what, what, take this land. What's it? Wait, wait, wait. What is it? This? What is this to you? Seriously, what? It, we go to this temple. We loot it like normal, and and we beat this bear. What is it to you? Well, honestly, it would put my heart at ease. I was given this vision for a reason. I think. Um, my my deity, uh, the one who would provide me with my uh, my faith and all of my uh, uh, curative abilities. You see Zark's were. face go blank. You just see <laughs> it go blank and sort of. Uh... <laughs> You're not getting a single word of this, are you? Uh, no, I go over no, to the, uh, it's vastly we're... interesting, and I'm sure I want to know more. Guys, I think we were going out somewhere. Thank you, Mr. Jihad. Uh, I go over to Jihad and say, is there any, would you be able to provide us with any reward for clearing out this temple? Uh, monetary and physical rewards? Uh, no, but I will be able to provide my healing spellcasting at no charge to you, with the exception for any uh, costly material components uh, that were to arise. Uh, any kind of basic healing uh, or blessing or anything of that sort, I will provide to you free of charge. Okay, if we so get around to it, we'll I'll, let you know. I'll tell you. Uh, you know, hey, why don't we have him bless us before we leave? You know, until yesterday, that would have concerned me, but now I have the, the mobile health pack. I pat the Oracle on my on my back, and she's, she's all I need. It's not as if the temple won't have loot. So are we to escort him to the temple, or what? I think we're just going. He's gonna stay back. Hmm. So, okay. so my over my plan, if you guys, approve, or at least what I want to try and attempt, is try and take out two birds with one stone here, if we can. Can, can my token be added to the map? Yeah. Do you have a token? Yeah, I did, but it Let's disappeared go. when. When you go to the other map, you save the token to a folder and then drag the, that file onto the new map. I'm going to just... Or you can right-click, copy, and then paste. How would we trick this weird-ass bear into attacking the bandits? Somewhere? Well, I believe our new friend here is quite versed in the ways of the animals. I look at the ranger. He goes, I, I'm going to warn you, it's no ordinary bear. I'm not a big specialist, actually, when it comes to animals, but well, I know a bit about how to kill them. So if we have to knock the thing out and drag it to the frigging camp. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I'll, I'll say this. We have, uh, if we if we have a chance, I think that this would work in our favor. Well, so, we're, we're so how do I add the token to from a first, file? Huh? You just drag it. I drag the file when I save the token. Because yeah, I'm dra- trying to drag the tokens file in, and that's not giving me anything. Drag the tokens file onto the map, and... It's an RP toke file, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to drag that on the map. It's not letting me do anything. It, it shouldn't show up. Just let go of the mouse. And then it's there. Yeah, it's not there. Huh, that's weird. Wait a minute. You're you see, on... When I, when I make tokens, I make it, and I say... Did, that like, somebody take library. away, like... Are you on the untitled map? Am I, like, not allowed to... Am I on the what map? I'm the on the land map. There we go. Yeah. Or not the land map. You're the uh, uh. Yeah, it's here now. Never mind. Yeah. That took a while. Anyway. Uh, oh no! I just copied and pasted it from the grasslands. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. So, we're off. So basically, what your idea is a glorified hit the bear in the head with rock, drag it back to the camp, 
and toss it over the wall, going ooga booga booga booga. Yep. Somehow this will work. <laughs> Somehow this will work. Hey, we have beasts of burden. I'm sure they can carry a bear. Sure. And how about this? Why don't you get some hemp rope and tie tie it to a tree, and that way you can like swing it from a branch and make it look like it's flying. Yeah. You can make <laughs> bear nunchucks. I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. No, nah, that won't work. We did yes, like a bear. Will. Yes, it will. It just a bear nun. Uh, we have to make, we, what we have to do is we have to repair one of Oleg's catapults and wheel that over to the bandits' camp and stick the bear on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't do this, but keep in mind that you're going to have to tote that bear 1.2 miles through forest uh, on foot to... Uh, you can't bring that breaking free there. and killing us. Guys, I don't know. I don't, I don't think plan flying bear is going to be very successful. <laughs> we can't bring the horses into the woods? Operation Bear Bomb. Well, you hey, can, but... Olag the, has a cart. The, the trick is either knocking the bear out for long enough to drag its ass over there and then having it wake up at a convenient time before they this kill it. This just seems really <laughs> impractical. <laughs> we can and, and I think they would notice us approaching with the bear in the cart. And then when we let the bear free, how do we know the bear's not going to turn on us? Because we beat it up and dragged it around. Because well, look, because we beat it up, and now it's it's afraid of us. And we, and we got a whole bunch of guys. So it's going to just attack the bandits and not or run off? Throw a red cape over at the bandits, and then it'll attack the red. Here's an idea. Why don't you get a carrot on a stick and ride on its back? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, the plan is go. Head out, my brother. <laughs> I all think right. that this plan would take less time than killing the bear and killing all the bandits. <laughs> yeah. anyway. let's, let's head to the temple and see what happens. Okay. Actually, no. You know what? Let's head to the bandits first, because if they have any good swag, then we can use it on the bear. The bear's not going to have swag. Why would we well, use swag? Like swag. <laughs> no, swag, as in good weapons, new weapons, good stuff we can use on the bear. I think, well... Oh, then again, an ancient like, temple might have magical stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. Let's go to the bear. Yeah, let's go to the bear. <laughs> let's go shake that bear. Shake that bear. <laughs> let's kill Yogi. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go there. Uh, boo -boo. <laughs> now, keep as a group. Hey, keep as a group. Now, be here. It's kind of like moving. Um, we have to make a survival check, right? Oh, a survival check? I can do that. He's leading the party. Well, we're not. Why would we have to make a survival check? We're just. Yeah, to resist what? Like uh, We're going through a forest. To resist right? poison yeah, ivy. Not, we haven't been traveling for, for a certain amount, or for like days or whatever. Like, and how many like, miles out is this? And also, if you, it was Poison Ivy, it'd be a fortitude shape, wouldn't it? You you pop from... How it works is that you move from hexagon to hexagon, uh, kind of like you would move from square to square on a, uh, a regular map. Um, and each hexagon you enter, you have a there's a certain chance of something happening. So, uh, and since you're all moving as a group, scattering like that kind of makes things too loose and... Uh, okay. Disorganized. Okay, so we were just have like one we, token on the overhead map. Yes, let's uh, uh, represent you guys as one token, which will be, which will Puppy. be Samuel L. Jackson. Puppy. Oh. Yes, yes. And we'll just spectate. We'll just watch ourselves move across the map. Oh, we're not. Let's gonna... just go like. I move gnome to hexagon D8. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just go this way of the temple. So. Okay, mm -hmm. first hexagon. Yeah. First hexagon, and you actually come across something. Yay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. What do we find? Well, you uh, come across what appears to be a uh, clearing, um, and as you approach it, uh, you find that they are radishes. 
and the inside uh, this uh, this patch here of radishes, you see several ugly-looking uh, lizard-like creatures laying on their back with uh, mounds of turnips next to them, burping and uh, kind of being lazy. Can I identify them with a knowledge check? Uh, yeah, go ahead. What knowledge? Uh, what knowledge do you have? Uh, I have engineering and engineering and local. Maybe it's a nature check. Yeah. Anyone have that? Let's make a general uh, intelligence check. All right. Anybody wants to make this check, go ahead. That would be uh, 1d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Yep. And check. <laughs> they are lizards. Uh, and they are full. 20 plus 2, I think. <laughs> It's just a general 90. knowledge check, right? Oh. Actually, can I use knowledge arcana? <laughs> oh, you all know. There, I got a 17. I got a 17. It's not that hard. They're kobolds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> None of us could identify a kobold. <laughs> well, our... What are these strange there's, creatures? There's Sis, seven. go talk to them. You're related, right? Yeah. So, uh, do we go? Do they pose a threat to us, right. or? Don't look like it. They're pretty full from eating. I don't think they. Okay. Um, I'm gonna strode up. Uh, strode up to the kobolds. I'm gonna strode uh, uh, with my lion next to me, um, and sort of look over them. Uh, look at them over them, sort of blocking out the sun. I'll follow you with my um, my panther. Looking down at them. Uh, let's see. Uh, DM's going to make some secret DM rolls here. Uh, Just uh, gets off his horse and readies his rifle. I guess, actu actually, I'm going to roll this as an intimidate for the, all three of them. I'm going to get off my horse and kind of stand to the side, uh, kind of stealthy to uh, keep myself uh, hidden in case I need to uh, move in from behind to the side. I think we're taking these two like lazy bedridden kobolds very <laughs> well, so there's, there's eight of them. Yeah. Oh, eight. there you go also um let us intimidate the gluttonous kobolds laying in the field <laughs> there is no map for this so i'm just okay. gonna use a general uh uh grid for the of grass okay but uh, they see uh who approached them me okay. Jug. they Jug see and, you and, and they, they shriek at you and they clamper to their feet and they, uh, they look like they're ready to kick some ass. Can I use my intimidate? Can that intimidate uh, get any bonus? Since I basically caught them by surprise and and here's this big ass ogre or uh, orc and his his lion standing there as they're all gluttonous. Uh, you can uh, attempt a uh... oh that's your intimidate check. Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, they do look a little shaken, but they they stand the ground and they go, No, this our turnips. You know, take. All right. I thought they were radishes. All right. <laughs> All right. There. So, what map are I think we should kill them for the turnips. Yeah, I want the turnips. They're kobolds. They don't know the difference. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so back to the grasslands. Or, oh, there's a new map. Yep, it's under, it's nice. What's the new map? <laughs> what? Grasslands. Right? Oh, wait, no, there's a new one. Grass. Oh, shoot. Grass. It says loaded by. Hey! Hmm? It says that it's loaded but not cached. 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 There we go. Um, that means it's not in memory, I don't think. Uh, fuck. How do you clear the memory? Um, when you first started up, you uh, you had to set how much memory you're giving. You're giving. So what you want? Tools. You're gonna have to uh, close it out. Set it to. I a set thousand. mine to one gig. Yeah, me too. 
So I approach them. Uh, oh, they're right there. Um, I'm going to organize these guys as soon as I get them. You want me to put the grid up? Uh, you have to put it up yourself. Okay. With a control G. Uh, I'm going to say... <clears throat> okay, so where were we approaching from? Well, I was approaching uh, first. Um, and I was approaching right behind you. And I was kind of to the side. I don't know where I, was I am. I was kind of to the other side. Uh, whatever he decides to arrange it. Two seconds. Jeez, it's a lot of kobolds. Well, it's eight. We're going to be fighting 15 bandits. Uh, but should, I, should I go to Grasslands or what? Grass. What map would I? Grass. So that's pretty much how they're sitting. Okay. Oh yeah, we each get one hero point, right? So the uh, the line of uh, of approach would be here. So. Do you allow the anti-hero uh, variant or? Oh, oh my works. god, a glowing eye is approaching. <laughs> the beholder. So, um, are you allowing the anti-hero variant of the hero point system, or what? Uh, I'm not going to do that. I want to do the hero points. Makes it easier. Alright. Alright, so, um, let's see now. Uh, you can put yourself in your general marching order. Or uh, your, how you approach them as such? Well, I figured that we approached them from this. Like that? End. So okay. I, I need to be out front uh, wherever, or at least, actually, I think that we're approaching them like this. Oh, so we're over here? No, no, I have, I'm the one out front. I'm just trying to find the line between. Yeah, you walked up to, like, the nearest uh, kobold and started talking to him, and I walked up right behind you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the where you approach them since you're coming from the north. This would be the line right okay. here. Okay. All right. So I would approve. Hmm. Wait. Okay. And then I approach from the side, like over here, because. Okay. Sort of like trying to do a sweeping maneuver. Just being stealthy. It's still here as I can be on this terrain. Like, what are... Is there a forest, or are we, like, on wide... Big old field, plane? remember? It's plains. Okay. That does kind of suck for a sneaky character. We're on the grass roll plane. <laughs> we must get the glowing turnip. There's a special kind of turnip in the center. It's so, are we going to roll initiative, or...? <laughs> I did. Yep, Golden I just, turnip. Uh, need to pull up the, the initiative oh, tool, sorry. wherever I the hell it is. Cop, 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 cop. Can I do like a stealth check or something for them not seeing mm. me at the start of this battle? Mm. No, that's what? well. Okay. That's something you roll once it starts. Dude, I rolled terrible. <laughs> the initiative is. Where's the initiative table? Initiative tool is um, it's under window. Oh right. I can okay. set my initiative. Weird. Uh, I'm not add to the initiative table. Me neither. Oh yeah, I can't set my initiative either. But you can't right click and set initiative? Uh, no, it's grayed out. Yeah. That's weird. Or maybe you need to set a permission. That I would not know how to do. No, that whoever's running the server. Oh. Oh, you are. Ugh. Can't believe this. Really? 
Initiative. I tried to set uh, Crow's Initiative at five, but for some reason. It's... So how did Kevlarman get there? In? We go. Okay, we uh, gotta add all of us. I just have an initiative macro. It must automatically add me to the initiative table. Oh yeah, that's a uh, uh, that's something we should do uh, at some point, either after this game or before the next. Uh, have everybody set their initiatives up, uh, or their macros up so that they. Uh, I have my macros. All right. Yeah, uh, I have my macro uh, set up, but I don't have one for initiative. Did you set your initiative, uh, No, you need to uh, sort it so I can. It's great out. Someone or those two uh, have sixteen. Okay. I have my initiative is uh, three. Lilith is uh, twelve. And mine was fourteen. Wait, does this add me to the table if I put in it? No. It doesn't. Well, my original roll was the. Uh, let me scroll up here. Seven. No. 17 yet. Accessibility. Uh, what man, what'd you get? Uh... Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I'll be right back. initiative is three. What did Gus get, or did he act on yours? He acts on mine. All right. What's interesting, I can set initiative for half of your tokens. Just not mine. <sighs> Can't set initiative for the turnip pile. <laughs> That's because it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> so why can't we set our initiative? I don't know. Let's see who is not in the initiative. Uh, and you're using no, the um, you're using the uh, encounter calculator I gave you, right, Rianji? Uh, yes, I will be. Okay. Although uh, for this encounter, it actually already it gives you experience. Well, yeah, but that that calculator that I, I showed you is uh, uh, shows how much each player gets. Okay. Yep. If only we had a bard in the party who could spread the tale of the uh, turnip patch battle. Oh, we'll be famous soon enough, and some bard will write that story. All right. I just have to uh, roll up these uh, Cobalt Initiatives real quick, like. You have my initiative, right? I need to step away for a second. Your initiative? Are you in the stack? Um, I'm not sure. All you need to do is go to um, Window, the Window tab, and click on the initiative. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, I'm not in there. Uh, I'll just put down, uh... What'd you roll for initiative? Uh, 14.
I should. Alright, why is this not organizing initiative like it should? Shouldn't it organize numbers from highest to lowest? Hmm. Maybe if you press the round button. I... Uh. Oh, sort. How do you, do how do you sort? Uh, under uh, where it says next, uh, there's a little arrow. Just hit the down arrow, and it'll say sort. Um, what did uh, what what did Batman get for his initiative? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, I'll, I'll set him really quickly. The Cobalt's gonna roll their initiative. Next. next. So, oh, it's over here now. So we're having a battle over a turn up. So, Rianchi, <laughs> did you ever go over with Street how to sign up or set up all this stuff? I couldn't get a hold of him. I, he hasn't been on since last week, or at least uh, not long enough that I could actually ask him about it. So we have Schist, uh, Batman, Crow, Lilith, Zug, and Gus. When you know a really easy, much easier way to do this? What's that? You can just, you know, get the initiative for each one of them and write each, write it out and write the initiative. Yeah, yeah maybe, I'll, well, maybe I'll... Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that, but, but I know you can just set up a macro that says where it's one click, roll initiative, add to... Uh, yeah. That's something we should all set up. Point. Alrighty. <clears throat> this one should only take a second. I'm gonna roll a really quick initiative. Maybe they're magical turnips. Yeah, but our characters don't know their magic turnips. Giant so from our perspective, we're basically killing these guys because, I don't know, we don't like them or we want to turn them really there. badly. <laughs> you kill things because they're there. XP's. For the XP. Our characters are like, that'll give me some good XP. <laughs> <laughs> My blade has been getting a little dull over the time. Oh, there's some kobolds. How convenient. Damn it, I wish I had a bear here to throw out these kobolds. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I can set initiative now. Individually. Yeah, do they lose a bet or something? Who? Now, how did you guys all uh, organize your uh, the initiative list? I actually said that he had to do some sort thing, but I don't know if that's because he's the GM. He can do that. Yeah, he logged oh, in as okay. the GM, so he probably has all the. Yeah. Okay, it probably doesn't matter for us. No. Here, here's the page that has all the macros. Page that has the macros? What do you mean? Yeah, this is where I got the uh, initiative. One that automatically puts the initiative in. A lot of these are 4E e macros, so, so watch out for that. Uh, 
All right. All the cobalts have individual initiative. <laughs> okay, I thought I set all those. Only the GM can perform add to initiative. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a whole campaign where we're going around trying to loot various types of vegetables. <laughs> Who wants to become a king? This is just going to turn into Super Mario Pathfinder and we're just going to go taking all the vegetables. <laughs> Eating them and throwing them. Sorry about the baby. Uh... Yeah. So, so, what, for? so what I've done is I had set everybody's initiative uh, and then when I tried to add it, it conveniently forgot. You're setting Whatever. the the Kabot's initiative separately? No, he still needs to set it. Because I see Kabot 7, Kabot 8. Kabot 8 has 18 it. initiative. And all the other Kabot. That little bastard got the jump on me. <laughs> He dies first. And he is closest. Alright, everybody. Sh Damn it, where's Cobalt? Can see anyone? No. Oh. <laughs> this is a pain in my focus, I tell you. Fuck's sake, ah. All right, I'm going to take care of Lily. I swear to God, this mouse, I'll be right back. Yay, it worked. Fuck, I hate babies. <laughs> Quick, Lily's God. Take all the turnips. Yes, they're all ours now. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Do we have time for a cigarette? Mm, quick. Now, go, 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 go. <laughs> he, he needs to use the bathroom first of all. Well, you guys have initiative... 16 and 12. Okay. 60, yeah. So, so you well, turns. Yeah. So, guys, plan out what you're doing right now so you can, you know, do it immediately. Do it. Do uh, it. I don't really have to plan. Yeah, I really only huh? have, like, options so yeah so whatever happens cat kill kobold guy either puts grease on kobold or shoot crossbow at kobold that's pretty much my two options there you go kobold's in front of me run away <laughs> kobold's at a distance shoot kobold good idea i think the rat uses the same uh idea yeah. Also, I love how uh, Utruf's character is exactly like uh, Twitch in League of Legends. Here, here's a picture. Never have kids, people. You realize I'm Life recording lessons. this, right? Yep. <laughs> but you can conveniently cut out these things that what? you don't like They're to see here. Disconnected? What? What? I've been disconnected. That's weird. So have I. Me too. I'm reconnecting. Ugh. <sighs> That's weird. I'm, I'm still connected. Could not load campaign. Hmm. Well, that, that's freaking weird. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yep. Disconnected. 
the good thing is I had the uh, forethought to actually save the campaign first, so we didn't lose anything. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Well, I thought Rianchi didn't bring the server up. I thought someone else did. Yeah, it was uh, Dragon Trainer. Not Dragon Trainer. Uh, um, freaking uh, Wild Thunder? Is it? Yeah. Uh, he dropped. His power must have gone out again. Does he have crappy internet like that? He says power went out last time the server went down. Great. So. Let's sing a song. Uh, how about this? Parents are dead. Can, uh, so can, dead. can anybody else try to uh, boot up a, uh, a server and uh, have me connect as the DM? Well, I can't because I can't open ports on my router. See, I would try, but I don't know what ports I need to open up and what, how to go through all that crap. But why didn't no you idea. research that this past week? I tried to. I, I actually looked up and I tried to figure out what ports uh, to open up for map tools and exactly, specifically, what kind of port it is. Um, and it just would not give me any kind of like it told me told me how to do everything, but go into my router and open up the ports. He's but back. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What happened to your server? Back up. You son of a bitch. Here, I'll start the server back up again. It five hundred XP. Five hundred XP. You lose it. Wow, he's already you negative. You ruined everything. He's in negative 300 XP. Yep, he owes me. There we go. It all saved. The server's back up. Yay. Ooh, new map. Yay. Really? I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, um, just go to the uh, land map. Go back to grass. Go back to grass on to me. It's all sorted now. My computer's plugged into Yay. the power, so it will not. That will not happen. Not again. Uh, Time to roll initiative yet again. No, nope. it's saved. <laughs> Constantly save. It, it oh, um it auto saves every five minutes. You should put that to every three minutes. You should put that every three seconds. <laughs> every three nanos. All right, I'm gonna have to reset the initiative for these goblins, but it should be easy because. I still have an initiative right up here. I'll go ahead and put it to uh, every three minutes. That should be sufficient. Liz, did you see the picture? No. Ah, oh, Twitch. Nice. That's that's Utrup's character. That's... <laughs> yeah, I realized that today. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it kind of reminds me of Twitch, but it's uh, supposed to be a Skaven. A Skaven? Yep. What's that? I don't think I can find a picture. Is, there, is it a rat humanoid? A what? A or rat like humanoid? Quest 2 at one point or something? Similar. It's, it's probably what inspired Twitch. Hold is on. it a rat man? No, it's a Skaven. It's a mutated rat. Oh. Yeah. Basically. So it is a mutated rat. It looks like he's yeah. a rat he's humanoid. A Warhammer armor is what it looks like. Yeah. Well, it, it is Warhammer. Oh, really? Oh. That would make sense then. Yep. It's weird. I have to add them to initiative first and then set their initiative. So you're not, or how, how tall are you? It's kind of a big rat. It's like four foot one or something. So, well, so yeah, you'd be about the the height of Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> so you are Twitch, you in your nice fancy suit, and your bowler hat. Yep. And your Tommy gun. <clears throat> Except totally not a Tommy gun. I craft a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. I want to see you craft a Tommy gun. It would be sweet. 
I swear, I'm almost done saying these initiatives. I, I feel really bad for making you wait so long. No, uh, it's my bad for having the power outage. Sorry about that. Yeah, let, let's all blame you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, divert blame. I shoot Kevlum in. Well, I don't have to anywhere to go, so I can stay here as, until the mission's done. At least one of them. So are we going to do this for every hex? Not for every hex. Uh, only when uh, you enter a hex and, and something happens. And that's this actually was more of a, a thing that was supposed to happen along your way to uh, your destination. Ah. But every time you enter a hex, there's a chance of uh, wandering monsters. Um, Random encounter. Stay away from the grass. Play the Pokemon battle music. Ah. But I'm, I'm kind of also mm. teaching myself how to uh, how to do map tools as we go along. Yeah. So it's uh, useful because I, I'm learning how to do map tools as well. And I wanna, all right. Uh -oh. We're all set. Yeah. I swear. Uh huh. Okay. Cobalt one, it's on his initiative. Uh, how do I set this next round? Okay. Cobalt one has initiative. And he is going to run up and attack Batman. By the way, do any of these people have shaken? That was his first mistake. Yeah, they're shaken. No, they're not shaken. Uh, they look shaken, but they aren't shaken because. Uh, but I got a 19. <laughs> well, their desire to fill their bellies and uh, keep away from their radishes uh, is. Uh, Has emboldened them. Yes, it, it, it's a very. Uh, uh, very emboldened. Radishes and bravery, actually. That would be sweet. If you uh, eat the radish, you get a confidence boost. To uh, in, uh, intimidate. All right. If I get killed by this thing, <laughs> <laughs> you eat the I radish, you die of the yellow radiation loaded. coming off of it. Oops. Uh, okay, just making sure my rolling is gone. Yeah, that uh, business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I rolled the. Uh, I'm retarded. <laughs> Just roll some dice, Rihanchi. We don't care. The poor yeah, goblin is uh, trying to find out how to hit with his weapon. It can't, it can't seem to remember. Okay, that matches my AC. Uh, that, hit. that hits, then. That hits, okay, yeah. That stinks. Can I use color spray? On your turn. On my turn. Alrighty. Oh, hold on. Next, next. Okay. Covate. Covate will run up and... Uh, and I took uh, five points of damage, right? Yes. Also, uh, oh, before we do that, uh, attack of opportunity because uh, he uh, ran up to your uh, threat range and attacked. Uh, isn't that when you're in... Threat yeah, it's only when you leave the threat range, not when you just run up. No, no, it is when nope. you run up, yes. Oh, Moving that's, that's, that's in Pathfinder? Yes, no. if you uh, approach an attack, it should uh, give you an attack opportunity. Really? I don't... Is, is, yes, is he flat-footed? No. No, uh, it's not surprise run. You, uh, you approached him cautiously, and you were ready for them. He's telling oh. you you get an attack of opportunity. Take it. Okay. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. <laughs> okay, I've got my uh, short swords out now. Uh, if now, so, uh, go on. Now, since I have them both out, does that mean that uh, it one attack? I, I take a penalty. Uh, I mean, I take my uh, dual wielding penalty, right, for yeah. uh, the one. Okay, so that's plus one. I don't think you you get. I'm not talking of opportunity if someone just moves it into it. Okay, so does that hit? Yes, that hits. Okay, and that's uh, one, six, plus one. <laughs> Hold on a second. 
Brackets, man. Brackets. Four. Yeah, you skewer it right to the chest and it dies. Ow. Oh. Oh. Was... Yeah, from uh, what I read, you do you, you provoke attacks of opportunity if you move through threatened squares, not like if you if you if you had a if reach you, of two. A... But and if you, moved you move, up two and then you moved up closer. If you move into someone's threat range, you provoke an attack of opportunity. That's yeah. just always how and it's if, been. If someone moves up two into your attack range without doing a five foot adjust, oh, and attacks, okay. that's uh, yeah. that's the same thing as it. And because also, they have to jog their way up to you to hit you, whereas five foot step, they just sort of have to shuffle and they can keep their defensive stance. But then, what would the, be the point of reach weapon? Uh, reach weapons cannot do attack of opportunities outside of, uh, it had, they'd have to be within the, uh, well, no, actually, uh, reach weapons can do attack of opportunities within the range. So you just have an extended, uh, the point of a reach weapon is basically the person can, if you have a 10 foot reach, the person, uh, has to five foot adjust, either five foot adjust in or has to run in to, to hit you. Yeah. And most of the time you're tripping them. All right, so, uh, uh, the text of opportunity on page 181 of the uh, players. I'm, 180. I'm reading it right now. And uh, they show the example of the picture. Number one, when he approaches the goblin. Uh, uh, so who's um? So I goblin could, uh, eight is uh, going right. Uh, Cobalt eight's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from what I read, provoke, there are two kinds of actions that can provoke an attack of opportunity. Moving out of a threatened square and performing certain actions within a threatened square. Well, uh, the way that it's always, well, we've played it in D&D &D is that, or at least since I've been playing D&D, &D, is that any time that you engage someone in melee combat uh, and you're not doing a five-foot adjust, it provokes an attack of opportunity. As yeah, well as uh, mo moving in and out of threat ranges. So that's just, that's that's just the way the it's always worked. It's yeah. not a house. Well, I don't know. It's a house it rule. It's always the, been that. Doesn't, it doesn't actually mention that in the rule book. All right. Now, you, you may be uh, perfectly right. Yes. Uh, it's fine. In, in fact, just, just curious. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, like, like what man said, uh, that's how Adina's always played it when I uh, played with him. And I kind of adopt his rules as we go along. No, that's good. Yeah. I, I was just wondering because I was confused. Oh, yeah. Me. That's perfectly fine. Uh, Actually, I uh, was pulling up uh, something like that in uh, last night's game in terms of uh, power attacks and such. Uh, uh, rules lawyering and all that. Anyways, attacking Zug. Okay. Rackets. Does a 10 hit you, Zug? AC 19, no. Well then, you may attack the opportunity on this kobold if you wish. Well, Both of you, are, you and your pet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nice. So, uh, uh, so wait, let's see. Oh, um, that's right. I have to pull, pull up my uh, critical card. Deck. Yeah. Um, it's dead. We, yeah, we already have our that, weapon. But now, but now we get to hear the gruesome details of how it died. Yeah. And... Alright, roll 1d6. Oh, 1d6? Okay. And that's mine. Okay, page five. Uh, one D nine. And what type of damage does it do? Um, I think it's a bite, bite, right? Yeah. So it would be piercing. Piercing. Tongue piercing. Normal damage and one kind damage. Target gains. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, he's but dead. Just know that your dog ripped the kobold's tongue out. He should be eat He's eating it right now. Yum, lizard tongue. Mm -hmm. So your dog pounces on the kobold as he tries to approach you, bites into his mouth, and comes back up with a, uh, a bloody kobold tongue and a dead kobold. 
So what about my um, my bastard sword? Oh wait, your no, bast- that that was just the one dude. Never yeah, mind. so your attack of opportunity does not go off. Yeah. And it does not waste it or anything. Okay. Alrighty. Mel. Oh my god. Finally, we are at turn three. Well, okay. It's just uh, person three of round one. Going to attack yep. top five with the longbow. You hit its AC and uh, one damage. You, uh, your arrow doesn't quite uh, hit solidly. It more or less uh, whips past them, but it does open up a nice cut on his face, but it doesn't stick. And can I five foot adjust? Yes. Okay. All right. Schist. Okay, I'm going to take a five foot step. Yeah. And uh, line up my rifle and shoot Cobe. Cobe seven. Cobe seven, yeah. All right. If only plus five, and since I'm inside 30 yards, I get bonus. 14 to touch AC. Okay, yeah, that's right, because uh, as long as it's within your first range and can access touch, um, I believe that hits. Actually, it does. I know it does. Okay. Let's see. Six uh, piercing and uh, blunt damage. You blow its head off. Sweet. Uh, my move action will be reloading my rifle, and that's my turn. All right. Put him over there. Brinton. Now, if I move here, that invokes an attack of opportunity? Yes. Okay, but if I use my acrobatic skill to uh, try to avoid that, um, what do I have to beat? Uh, you know what? I'm going to Is uh, it say... Is like a tumble? Yes. So it'd be like 15? Um, uh, I think it says opponent's combat maneuver defense. That's our combat maneuver defense. Let me see if I can find that. Because I, I have an, uh, the uh, bestiary right up here. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's CMD, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, number to beat, I have it. I'll let you know if you beat it or not. So go ahead and make the roll. Okay, so I move here. This is going to kill me. Um, let's see. Oh, 1D, 20 plus... Can we attack on diagonals, or does it have to be facing? Yeah, diagonals you can attack. So that would provoke an OA, wouldn't it? 12. All right, you successfully uh, tumble past uh, past this threat range and are able to get inside it without provoking an attack of opportunity. Okay. As, um... as for attacking on diagonals, uh, the rules for uh, doing that, it acts as if it's a five-foot uh, adjustment uh, to you. So really? technically you can't attack with a... Yeah, because uh, movement rules um, specify that the first diagonal on any movement acts as a five foot, and uh, sends the diagonals immediately to you. Oh, you since I moved at that five feet. Okay, since I moved one diagonal already, then this next diagonal would be ten feet. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna say that you can attack through it because you tumbled. Okay. So, uh, I just roll my attack then? Yeah. It's considered adjacent in terms of, uh, damage. Uh, attacking, I mean. Uh, but yes, yeah, go ahead and make your, uh, attack. Six. Six. <laughs> you missed. Congratulations. Oh, no. No, Cobalt 3 is coming at me. And you're at half health. Cobalt I'm three. screwed. <laughs> You know, I'm going to uh, pull out the old Dean standby and break out my old random dice here. Is tumble just an acrobatics check? Yeah. Or is it like a special ability? Yeah, it's the acrobatics, yep. 
All right, and he decides to attack. One, three, four. He decides Seven. to attack Crow with his uh, sling. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that hits you, right? Yeah. Three damage. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Lilith. Yes, I will move down to there and use color spray. Color spray? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Cope 6. Uh, is there a concentration check in this game? I don't know. I can't remember. No. There isn't? I don't think. Don't wait. wait, what? Concentration, yes. No, uh, there is. That, that's uh, one of my standard actions. So. Oh, uh, there's concentration checks in some cases, like uh, casting defensively and. Yeah, she's within the uh, melee range of uh, that uh, Cobalt Six. So, so she has uh, to make a concentration check equal to the damage I think she takes. Well, actually, she can uh, cast defensively, and uh, I think there's a set uh, rating uh, that she's got a number she has to hit um, that's easier to hit, unless. Uh, yeah, defense and ca uh, casting defensively is easier. Than making a concentration check to overcome damage. Yeah. You don't have. I think color spray is just automatic. Yeah, but she's still casting a spell. Yeah. Melee threat of a. No, because only one AOL. Yeah, but the go uh, Goblin Six didn't make his AOL yet. Yeah. Uh, yay! Or I thought he made his AO. Tried to make his AOL on Rinton. Nope. He tumbled past it. Couldn't get one. Well, right, but he missed. Because he did it. But, no, no, he, he never he never got the opportunity. Oh, okay. Is what I'm saying. Okay. It's like you never get. It's like you never used yours because your dog already uh, killed them. Uh, your, the opportunity just never arose. Go ahead, just make a quick uh, concentration check. It's not going to be that tough. Okay. What? Uh, fuck! I can't find it on the sheet. What the bonus is? Well, the goblin might not even hit his uh, his opportunity attack. Yeah, so if he misses, uh, you still get out the spell. Okay. And if he hits By the way, the Color level. Spray is a cheap-ass spell to take at first level. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <take. laughs> uh, so, roll to hit, I suppose? I'm sorry, what? So you're going to roll your attack of opportunity against me? Or oh, have her, uh, Liz will roll her concentration check first. Yeah, what what is the concentration check? Because it's not a skill. Oh, it's not a skill. Um, it's a uh, 1D plane, 20 plus year constitution. Shit, <laughs> I think. Hold on. I think it's like. Uh, okay. I'm rolling for. Her. Why is she making this again? To so, uh, to avoid the attack of opportunity that. Uh, Oh yeah, you make it. Go ahead and uh, do your color spray. Uh, what's the effect? Let's see. Uh, Just well, kill them. It's not going to make much of a difference. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, so what you're saying is that you just uh, cone stunned every single one of these guys. Yeah. Uh, coast, uh, uh, Coblin, six, uh, five, and three are hit by it. Um, just do me a favor and uh, draw out your uh, area of effect using the template tool, uh, cone effect. Uh, yep. Oh, wait. I think it's like that, if that shows. Yep. Okay, so it's, it's that big? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's 15 feet. 
So, not everyone is hit then. Not oh, fuck. <laughs> well, if you shift it, uh, like, clockwise a bit, then you could get three of them. So. Right? Yeah, that one right there, the 15 foot one. Fuck, my mouse is just fucking out. Mm -hmm. Ah. Delete. How did I delete uh. this shit? <laughs> That is quite a color spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Every one gets hit. Yeah. You mind clearing out that first uh, the first cone that you drew? How? Um, I'm to figure out how. I'm, I'm clicking the eraser, but nothing's happening. Uh, let me see. Oh, there you well. go. Fuck! <laughs> it's being can we, me. Can we just say that he? It's. There we go. Yeah. Okay, which numbers are affected again? Just tell me. Three, five, and six. No, Three, five, and six. Five. Okay. Okay. And I think there are two hit dice or less, so they're unconscious, blinded, and stunned for two d four rounds. Let's see. Two rounds. Okay. Let's take them hostage. <laughs> You're and right. Then blind, and, blind and stunned for 1d4. So first full effect two rounds, then for another round they are blind and stunned, and then stunned uh, for one round. So. So which ones were affected again? The first three in front. Five, so five, six, six and, and three. three. Here. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just... There we go. All right, so, uh, yeah. Um, my marker tool. State. Okay. All right, so those guys will not be able to attack. Um, four, and, four uh, rounds. Disable, disable, crow. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I'll just go up to the nearest one and just attack him. Okay, and since he is uh, incapacitated, he does not get an attack of opportunity on you. Unless By the way, I see one D. You have to go. You have to go around the uh, uh, turn up pile. What? What do you mean? I have to go around the turn up pile? Oh, I'm pile? sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I was mistaking mistaking you for uh, the Gwen <laughs> 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 the the Panther. <laughs> I was just looking at the distances. But yeah, I you would may like, attack. I would like that H. Whatever. 1d20 plus uh, 6, I think. Okay. And uh, this is a two handed attack, by the way. Alright, um, so uh, two handed attack. 18. Um, oh, okay, that hits him. 1d. And uh, eight. since he's incapacitated. Let me check out the coup de grace rules so that continue on. That's a full action. He oh, moved, okay. so it's a full action to Kudra. Eight damage. And you just cleave that little sucker in half, like, like there's no hey. tomorrow. Like slicing through butter. Like butter. Except it's kobolds. Oh, it They're not matter. even people. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, that is Rose's turn. Cobalt yep. 4. <laughs> he is going to uh, use his sling and attack Lilith. Nineteen. 
Wow, these cobalts are rolling really well. Yeah, that hits. By the way, oh. these uh, these cobalts are pelting turnips at you, just so you know. Nice. Turnip sling. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit for free damage. Oh no. Quick, Gentlemen. eat them and gain life. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a crossbow at goblet at uh, cobalt number five. Okay. That probably doesn't hit. Uh, actually, uh, because he is uh, incapacitated and prone, uh, that will hit. Five damage. I. You pierce him through his face and he dies. All right. You know. and my um, my cat pounces on goblin num uh, gob uh, kobold, kobold number three. Pounce is a charge attack, and then he gets a full attack, so... Okay. Ouch. Nice. That's dead. <laughs> just, just, just so dead. dead. <laughs> so my uh, cat pounces on the goblin, rips its face off, and then claws what's left. You know, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of him, because he's no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you, you know, it, it's not the, uh, the, the, the regular terms you have to watch out when you use uh, gob uh, these kobolds. Uh, but I'm actually, you have to watch out for those terms with the frowny faces on them. That's yeah, the Super happens. Smash Brothers joke! Woo! Wait, the Cabal don't only have it. a. I don't know, my, 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 uh, my, uh, my uh, Jaguar or... uh, Panther has uh, taken a couple mushrooms, so he should be all good. Alright, Cobalt 2 will fight for the just because he's smart like that. And uh, he's going to uh, boot the uh, the Panther. Cobalt number 2 looks at the whole party and he's like, yeah, I can take him. <laughs> <laughs> Not my turn to back him up. Not on my watch. Yeah, he misses. Uh, let's see. Zunk, zunk. All right. Not wanting to be outdone by the panther, my uh, lion uh, charges forth, leaps over the panther, and uh, uh, goes into Cobalt 4. He'll make an athletics uh, to afford that AOO. Okay. Acrobatics, you mean, right? Yeah, acrobatics, whatever. And then right. he will eviscerate him. Uh, which couple are you killing? Two. Um, four. Actually, four. two. Yeah, because I'd be flanking. So it's a six. Or it's a uh, total of eight to hit. Eight. Uh, that miss. Okay. And I'm gonna run forward and get on Cobalt Four. Is the turn uh, to go like around the Yes, it is obstructing. Uh, he was able to jump over the uh, panther, so it's not like... Uh, no, 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 no. The, the, the turnip path is still there. <laughs> the turnip hovers away from you in defiance. Okay. So you can just go around and hit the other guy. Yeah. Alright, um, he's going to try his attack that? opportunity on you. I'll do um, acrobatics. Go ahead. Um, how much did you move? I moved my full 20. Yep, that's, uh, you can do that. Okay. And, uh, you avoid the attack of opportunity, he can't make it. A another six? <laughs> oh, another eight? Are you kidding? You miss. I think my panther's still out of shiny. <laughs> Boy, I can't re hit things with an axe. <laughs> Your panther's axe, laughing at them like the duck hunt dog. Sword. These goblins now, have uh, got to not be favoring their chances at this point. This is just... How did I roll the exact same thing two times in a row? Uh, it's Mel's turn. Uh, is that Mark? Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, because we killed those other two that normally get... You know what? This is... Hmm. Hmm, would that be too close for me to use the longbow? Uh, actually, you can use it adjacent. Uh, you just provoke an attack of opportunity from uh, firing a ranged missile attack in. Uh, well, like, like being right here diagonally. Yep. Does that provoke an attack? Yes, well, it why, does. why don't you just. Uh, uh, yeah, be one step away. I mean, it's a bow. It can shoot from a long range, can it? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I'm afraid that I might hit somebody. Well, then go around the other side. Well, they're well, in melee. They're in, me- they're in melee, so you're going to have a chance of hitting them anyway. Unless he had the... Uh, Precise uh, shot, and he doesn't. Yeah. So just just attack. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, I'll shoot it. Cobalt number two. My panther won't bite you that hard if you hit it. Yeah, let's nice. hope not. Oh Good. yeah, you uh you both hit and kill it in the face. Yay. How does shooting into melee work? Because I've I've read up and I know that there's a penalty to your attack for that, but uh, if yeah. if you miss by a certain margin, uh, there's a chance that you hit. Uh, anybody within the melee range. Okay, so if you miss, like, by five or something, then you hit an ally. Yeah. You have a chance to. You don't always, though. Yeah, it's like, then you roll uh, yeah. to see if you hit the ally. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So hitting an ally is not very common. Right, yeah, it doesn't sound get, like it. It's better just to get precise shot, shot and never worry. Unless about you're in the Star it. Wars campaign. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we all about. know about that. All right, yep. Chester, you have a gun. Take care of this. Well, the only way I could hit him is by critting, so I just had to shoot as many shots into melee as I could. Yeah. Well, Chess will scamper over here and uh, line up his rifle at Cobalt 4. All right. Uh, let's see. Twenty-one to it. Yep. That hits. Yes, it does. Finish him off with a bang. And free damage, yay! It doesn't kill him. Oh! But you shoot wow. his. Um... Oh, He's surprisingly gosh. resilient against your bullets. <laughs> he shot his mohawk off. My mind bullets. That's anyway, telekinesis, that's my... Kyle. <sighs> Rinton, can you do something about this? <laughs> so if I move here, I can still attack. Yeah. Like that way. Yes. Okay, and this guy has an attack of opportunity, so I'll yep. make an acrobatics check again. No, he, oh yeah, that's true. He has yep. a, yeah. We're just doing handstands all over the place. Yeah. All right, so you've effectively surrounded him and are river dancing a mud hole in his face, and so he's still alive. <laughs> okay, I assume I avoid it. Yep. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll stab him with my short sword. Um, one. And that... <laughs> God. Wow. John McClane Kobold. Wow. I stab it. Wow. <laughs> MVP Kobold. MVP Kobold. Hey, you have a fumble chart, right? <laughs> Most powerful Kobold of all time. Yeah, do uh, we have a critical failure chart? There is no critical failure charts, oh. uh, fortunately, because some of those things are really bad. And, uh, I'm <laughs> There you get will be to avoid. Oh, don't worry, there will be. But uh, I just, I just kind of want to ease you guys into the uh, good stuff before I uh, really unleash the beast on you. Uh, <laughs> make a, uh, make a, re- uh, a dexterity check, uh, check real quick. Uh, okay, so that's like one d twenty plus my dexterity modifier. Yep. Okay. Fourteen. All right. You uh, manage to hang on to your weapon, but you uh, miss him. Oh, good. <laughs> That'd be great. Die, kobold! Wee! There goes your weapon halfway across the floor. Well, I've got a second, so... Uh, I just love how he's, he's uh, nimbly dodged the lion, the orc, and the guy with the short sword. And is able to survive <laughs> direct hit with a bullet. Yeah. We're going to have this guy surrounded Let's in a bit he here, and he's still going to be... I'll we'll make a, a diplomacy up. check never again. So, could we move through the fight? With, uh, we're getting high off. Maybe, no, you could probably move through the turn up at half speed. You know, I'm going to say uh, half speed through turn ups. Okay. So, she I could move the turn-ups this just there. Yeah. yeah. Get through the turn-ups. Cool. I suppose. Why wouldn't right. we be able to get through turn ups? It's kind of like a, a pile, so I mean, I can, I can see you kind of clambering over the pile of turn ups. Yeah. But... But, uh, Liz, do you want to make a, uh, <clears throat> are you uh, meleeing or casting? Meleeing. Melee. Okay, um, uh, are you going to acrobatics or are you just going to take the attack opportunity? Acrobatics. Okay. I don't even know if she has yeah, it. Yeah, it was on. 
Yeah, you can attempt that unskilled, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, just threat dexterity. Well, it's a skill, so it's plus one. I know. Six. Oh. Ah. You couldn't acrobatics into it, and thus will suffer the consequences. Hmm. It's falling on my ass, right? Uh, ah. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Is that a crit? Yes, it is. Dear oh, well. God, no, we need crit. to do non-lethal damage to this guy and take him along as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take care of the bear all by himself. I love right. it. We send him uh, out, this badass kobold, and he gets killed in the first swipe. <laughs> uh, see, I need to find out, do Can spears have an increased uh, critical threat? No, uh, spear. They're not 19 to 20, no. Okay, yeah, then it's not critical. But he does finally do damage. Jeez, this is just bad luck for you guys today. Like I can't click the icon to turn it pile this in the like, way. Dodge, dodge, shoot in the head, dodge, spear. Yeah, spears don't have increased critical threat range. They just have times three. Well, yeah, and, they're, and they have their... All right, Liz, you can make your attack. Well, that's yeah. only four damage. It's not too bad. Uh, hold on. Four damage. Three. You missed your melee? Oh no, that's oh. your. Uh, no. I'm sorry, I'm retarded. Yeah, go ahead and do what you're gonna do. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. What? Four. <laughs> Truly, he is a god. <laughs> no, we're just. The Mohawk. <laughs> we're just literally it's Daniel Joe McLean Cobalt. He's not gonna go sort of down like wiggling that around. Wiggling our swords at him. <laughs> you should try to, You should have him run away and become like a primary antagonist of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you come like, back and this this, this one kobold is just into awesome. the into the banded camp or something. Here's, here's <laughs> an idea. Like he, he's the mastermind behind everything. Instead of me making he's an entire line involving this kobold, kill his one hit point. Crow, you have initiative. Maybe okay. he's the stag lord. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know, Crow, at this point we should just run. Retreat. Too. <laughs> <laughs> he's so <laughs> much. Just flashes. Okay, I move. I can move through the turnip patch, right? Yeah. Alright, so. Like this. I move down here. I'm flanking. <laughs> um. If I hit him, can, your, can it be non-lethal, or would I have to take a minus four? Yeah, you you have to take a minus four to your to hit for uh, to hit with the flat of your blade or whatever you're using. But you can't non-lethal. Should I? <laughs> yes. Yes, we want him alive. Remember, guys, this kobold is getting mad rolls. If he survives, he will kill us when he attacks. <laughs> you want all to right, take right, attack? Right. What? You will yeah, use yeah. cobalt AOE. Oh, no, you, can't, of death. you can't attack him because he's used it already. Alright, yep. go ahead. Yeah. So, um, should I kill him or? Yes, kill him. Okay, <laughs> 20, 20 plus. Oh, wait, it's actually plus 8 because I'm flanking, right? Yes. Okay. There we go! Yay! Yay! Hey. In a frustration, I I... you grab him by the neck and just snap it with a hand. <laughs> <laughs> you little see... wiggling bastard. I want to see if I confirm the crit. Oh. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> but he has one hit point left. <laughs> you know, just for right. shits and giggles, let's see what would have happened if he actually got an attack of opportunity on you. Okay. Okay, let's move back to the um, land map. I, sh I want to see how much damage I would have done. One D. Eight. Oh. <laughs> you would have killed somebody. God. Wow. MVP Kobold. This, this is how much damage I would have done. <laughs> Ten. See, I think I really think that the the map tools is programmed for whoever is actually has the GM title 
is supposed to give them better roles. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we find? Turnips! Turnips! Well, turnips! Turnips, you, yay! You do find, this was uh, totally worth it. You do find enough turnips uh, to actually feed you um, for a couple days if you wish to take them. Uh, they're they're actually moon turnips. That's a lot of turnips. What I don't know. Worth? I will take five moon turnips. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't say uh, anything about how much these turnips are worth. Well, they're probably we, not worth much. I, I don't imagine that turnips think, are worth very much. I think are we give com- this uh, couple... I would think a, that they act as one ration each. I say we go and start a turnip farm and become turnip tycoons. Yeah, the rest of the... These. Every single session of this now becomes I plant my turnips. <laughs> I plant my turnips will be the cabode. <laughs> I sit there for three months, and I pick my turnips, and then I plant them again, and I sit there for three months. You now have 500 turnips and have lived for uh, 10 years. What are you going to do? I will plant my turnips. (laughs) (laughs) I will Um, use the turnips I sold to buy a tractor. Do we know anything about these, or these turnips? They're moon turnips. You know, I don't know about anything about these turnips, so I don't assume they're anything special. They're just a ration, one ration each. Yeah. How much is okay. eight split XP? Anyway, are the cobbles edible? 348 experience points. Uh, actually, that's uh, a good point. My um, my lion pulls one of the uh, cobalt corpses aside, and uh, I take out my um, uh, scissorn and uh, begin cutting off the meat and giving it to him. Okay. Um, I take one of these turnips, so I have uh, four rations. Okay, you know, you guys can just take all the turnips you want because I'm got tons of rations. By the way, uh, when it comes to since there are technically eight people in the party, uh, you are going to be dividing XPs among everybody, even those who aren't here for the uh, session. So, love colored magic is going to uh, also gain experience, so everybody gets one hundred. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Again, it, it's, it's a little nuanced that I picked it from uh, Dean the Adequate because simply not everybody can always make uh, online sessions, and I understand how hard it is, especially to get eight people to join. So, you know, if there's like a day or two that you can't really make it, you're still going to get experience and you're still going to have a share of the loot. Oh, that's and fine. You're still there. Okay. How, Since we're doing how, party how, mode, we, just, we don't even split it up until we end up using it anyway. But let's just say for uh, this session that the Oracle's blindness is particularly acting up on her and she needs to sit down. No, remember <laughs> I said that I was carrying her on my back. Oh, okay. Remember That's I told her I wrapped her up all baby time. style and she's been sitting on the, the upper part of my back this whole time? Yeah, yeah she's, she's just been sleeping. Yeah, what's up? What's your... uh, she scampers over to the kobold who's boss Bruce Willis, and uh, pulls out a dagger and cuts his head off. Okay. You never know, might come back. He will then, if he can, uh, cut out his, uh, a piece of his arm or something and eat that. Well, you can, but it's not going to taste very good. Uh, how, how many turnips yeah, well, do we get? It's a hard thing. Uh, he's also going to carry the head with him. How much would that weigh? Uh, cobalt head? Uh, let's see. Um, That'd be like a pound. That's not going to smell at all. But a human head weighs like two pounds. Yeah, a kobold is about, what, four feet tall? Uh, weighs about maybe uh, 60 pounds. So uh, the head should be about five, four, maybe, four pounds, maybe. How many turnips are there? A big okay. old mound. Yeah, there's like three basketfuls of turnips. So I can just go ahead and grab a bunch and throw it on my horse? Yep. Okay, uh, on each kobold, you find... Uh, some leather armor built for small people, uh, a spear, a sling, and I will roll up how much money they had on them. Two gold pieces to rub together. Mm-hmm. Well, they were, you know, defending a turnip patch. So, leather armor, spear, and sling on each one of them? Yeah. So that would be six. And you'd find and a total of uh, 15 gold. Okay. I'll add that to the party loot. Also, uh... Good. You can sell that at o- to Olog when we get back. Hold on, I need to do something really quick. Yeah, we'll just load it up on everyone's horses. Yep, yep. 
No, we'll put them into the backpacks of infant. Hold on, I have a comic for you guys. <laughs> We're gonna have this whole new train, just horses, packed stuff full uh, of just random crap. Check the uh, check the cobalt just uh, that you guys are surrounding. Check his name. Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. So, you also find My something. Uh, you find something of interest on Bruce Willis. Um, <laughs> he has a uh, a uh, a small pouch. Um, well, actually, it's not a pouch. It's uh, what looks like to be like a scroll that's tied to his waist. It's rolled up and it's kind of bound with a simple cord, and on that is tied to his waist. I take it and right. uh, look at it. It appears to be a list of some sort of ingredients, like a recipe of sorts. Huh. Well, I give it to the person keeping all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, specifically on top, it reads, uh, I'll, I'll actually put it up in chat. Get on. Gem shot. By it's the way. It's a scroll of gem shot. Well, actually, no, uh. <laughs> Uh, Schist uh, recognizes that as a, uh, a list of ingredients and instructions as how to assemble a type of ammo for his oh. gun. Cool. Give it to him. Yeah, you take it. To be specific, uh, you will need um, you'll need to know at least a little bit in uh, jewel crafting, or need to find someone who can cut jewels for you. Uh, any kind of valuable gem and the basic ingredients that you need to make ammo. It's just that the uh, the slug is replaced with a sharpened gem. Why would you want to shoot gems? Well, I don't need these diamonds. <laughs> by D&D &D logic, um, the more expensive something is, the better it is. So instead of shooting a uh, uh, two silver piece piece of slug, if you shoot a 50 gold piece ruby, <laughs> It does more damage. Well, you don't shoot the whole ruby. Like if you well, find right, like a right. small a small ruby, you can probably chop that up and make five or six uh, shots out of it. Right. But and the, um, I'm guessing the logic. Okay. That's how it works. Yeah, and uh, also, uh, you know, some gems are harder than others. Right. So that the idea is that uh, the sharpened gems and their increased hardness would actually help uh, penetrate through armor. Did, right. Did Did he shoot a, one of those gem shots at me? One of no. the other. That was turnips, slings, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that was. That, that's just picking up turnips and throwing them at you. So, how about oh. we move on to the next hex? All right, let's go to uh, world map. Copy the tokens over whenever we get to. No, the they're there. Map. So, so, no one's reacting on just cutting its head off and basically keeping it around. <laughs> no. No. So, uh, do we get that? our. Do we get our health back no. or what? Every everyone is chaotic evil in this shit. No, I'm not chaotic evil. I have like characters just lawful just neutral. Absurd. I have very precise reasons for doing everything, and I don't care, you know, if you want to do your sick little demented things. Uh, My character believes body parts. Of art and expression. <laughs> My character believes he wants stuff or has needs and will do many things to get it done. Chaotic neutral. No, he's neutral evil. Oh. <laughs> like I said, he will do anything to get what he wants. Okay, so evil. As long evil, as just is meeting. Uh... So I don't care if you want to go 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 screw the uh, the the head in the woods for all I care. Unless the gold the head is gold plated, I don't care. Okay, um, everybody, make a perception check. Uh, perception. Let me... Oh yeah, my best check of all. Perception four. Uh, do we all get our um, health back or what? Oh my god! <laughs> Stumble into a tree. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> 
Right. Um, can we use the Oracle as a heal stick, or are we just using heal surges? Uh, you can uh, have her uh, whap you with her stick and heal you up. Okay. Um, she gets how many cure lights per day? Um, you have her cheat, don't you? I, I think I do. Um, you know, I can just pull up the what the hell? Okay, did something just happen? So let's see. One cure light is one d eight plus two. Uh, one potion is one d eight plus two. Yes. Well, if you want to, do how about her... we just do, how about we just do that and say that she? I thought she can she do moderate yet? No, you're only first level. So how about we figure that she's, you know, churning out cure cure lights as everything. That's all she's prepared is cure lights. Correct. Okay. I... I just need to pull up the Oracle class just to make sure uh, um, how many spells she has per day. Well, Lilith needs <laughs> you. Yeah, and I've got I four. I actually have the healing skill, but I don't have any healing kits. Well, um, you we uh, also have healing surges, remember? Yep. Uh, yes, but you do uh, reach... Yes, it's, you do reach a, uh, a clearing uh, as you enter this area. It seems to be a nice place to uh, uh, sit down and uh, make camp really quickly. Uh, uh, rest up. Yeah, it's a clearing. Oh, on the uh, on the river. It, can I actually do a heal check without any healing equipment? That's what I was you, wondering because I thought healing equipment just adds to your heal check. And menace. We're doing it. We're having the oracle heal people, and okay. if you really need to get. He uh, hit points back, use one of your healing surges, surges, which is your hit die plus your constitution. And you get that much back in heal in health points. And uh, first aid, uh, like the healing is basic, basic first aid. If you don't get health back, you uh, use it to like stabilize dying people. Right. And, uh, make sure that they survive in the long term. Um, how many did One so far. Uh, oh, I thought I was getting five. Oh, let, let me check. Everyone gets a heal surge? I, I mean, if they want to use it. I got well, yeah, we're using it. Perception check. I'm not going to use mine. They're usually nah, because we've got the oracle. Yeah. <laughs> she can cast uh, three cure lights a day. Three cure lights a day? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well, whoever needs healing. Yeah, Lilith needs healing. Roll a, roll a D8 plus uh, whatever. Um, I would think it was plus four or plus three for That's cure light. Cure light is uh, D8 plus your level, so D8 plus one. Okay. I'll take one of those. Um, Just roll it up for yourself. Four. Yay. I swear to God, if this is another one. Ah! <laughs> Owned. I have six life now. So she has one cure life left. Here, you, you know what? You can take my, my Cure Light uh, Wounds potion. Uh, that would only cure, like, three of my hit points. Should we oh, use it? It's a D8 plus two. Um, while you're at it, let's uh, oh, yeah, I... the grasslands and uh, assume you put up camp. Or how many, oh, how many hit points do you have? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll... I have nine total, and I have six right now. You can get your constitution back for sleeping. Okay, we're going to sleep here? Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, uh, grasslands? Yes, go to Grasslands. Uh, go to that way, grass. uh... Grasslands is a blank map for you. Um, as we... Um, <laughs> should I set my health to 70%? Or... Hey, can I roll a survival to see if I could actually find food to eat? We, well, have, we, have, to, uh, we have turnips. You can, but you have plenty of food around you right now. When we make camp... Yeah, well, I don't want to use one if I don't have to. Let's see. When we make camp, um, uh, I'm sending out my lion to do scouting uh, around the area. There. Do I, like, find berries or something? Just basically uh, doing guard circles. Uh, if we're making camp, just we'll uh, stick the head of Bruce Willis cobbled on a stick and cook the meat off it so the skull is clean. I don't see a problem well, with that. What's the point of having his skull? Trophy. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, my summoner just sort of looks sideways at the whole proceedings with a slight air of confusion and then just sort of coughs it away. So, yeah, whatever. 
I think everybody around the fire would be like horrified by the smell of burning hair and you know skin. Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, burning hair, daddy. Daddy's on fire. Quick question: What's everyone's alignment? I'm lawful neutral. neutral. Good. Chaotic I'm evil. Chaotic evil. evil. No wait, neutral evil. Yep, I'm neutral evil. Uh, as long as our party's meeting mission parameters, uh, my character doesn't uh, really care what you guys do. Because <laughs> it's not like raping and pillaging. Well, as long as you're not, we're not breaking the local law. Yeah. As long as you're not being a real douchebag, yeah. <laughs> the only thing my character really cares about is wealth and killing the stag lord. Besides is, that, you guys are pretty much free to do what you want. And this want. is what we're talking about around the campfire. We're saying, well, my character is... And my personality <laughs> is... And my goals in life are my character's people like, that I just, just don't rape somebody ago. and I'm fine. <laughs> my old head is being Just so we get this straight, my alignment is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay, so you all rest for the night, and uh, in the middle, before you all go to bed, as you're all just kind of hanging out around the fire... Um, Wait, should we have people on watch? Well, not, uh, <laughs> not yet. I'll, uh, post, I'll have you guys post watch in a second, but something happens. Um... <gasps> Just uh, as you go to sit down on a log, a uh, you hear a large farting noise coming from your underside. What? Um, <laughs> you hear a farting right, noise. You're not right sure how seriously noise. you should take it. <laughs> Look, that cobalt go will go right through you, man. Yeah, true. So, okay. I brought toilet paper. So that happened. He, he readies his rifle at the uh, sudden noise and smell. Wait, I suppose. wait, wait, you're readying your rifle when you hear yourself fart. He's <laughs> yeah, just like, no, 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 hold on, I sit down. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> so, um, it's, it startled him, seriously. <laughs> yeah, he pulled out his gun. I can just imagine He's him going to while shoot whoever sleeping. farted. During yep. the night, we just all periodically get woken, woken up. It's just like, uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, since there's eight of you and there's typically three watches, uh, who's going to take which watch? Wait, there's eight of us? Us, yeah. Oh, because the Oracle is still in here. Yeah, well, what would she see, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> the Oracle on watch. <laughs> we'll have, yes. What are you doing up there? Have the I, lion and the yes. panther take her watch. I've got high perception and a uh, pretty good fort save, so I could probably do watch pretty well. well I can, uh, I can volunteer my pet for one watch. I should probably do watch uh, either first or third, because I don't have like dark vision or uh, okay, low light I'm vision. my... I'm putting mine in there. I'll take third watch. Okay. Fine, I'll uh, take first. All right, now uh, let's uh, let's assume that from now on, unless things change, this is going to be your general <laughs> watch for the rest of the game. Okay. All right. So Sish is first, and who's second? Uh, I'm, I'm third. Wait, All right. look at the chat. Am I four? All right. If you're in third watch, go to schist. If you're in second watch, go down. Like there. All right, blow the fire. And if you're in first watch, up over here, okay? Did you see where I moved you guys? First watch. Which map is this? This is the uh, grasslands. Okay. Hey, do you, I heard that elves so, don't have to sleep. So, what do you half elves, elves have? <laughs> elves meditate. Um, I don't know about half elves. Huh? Yeah, a half elf has. Uh, let's see. Is it low light vision? Hold on. Okay. Oh, we'll we'll take second. Me and Gus will take second um, watch. Whoever takes first watch, or whoever takes first watch. Okay, right. Lilith and Schist has no light watch or sight. All right, so at least one of them should be on uh, a shift. Uh, yeah. 
I have okay, low light vision but really bad perception. Alright, uh, Batman, what uh, shift are you taking? I'm trying to figure out where everyone else is going and then I'll take uh, first or third depending on which one has the fewest. I assume everyone here is first or second. Yeah, I'm on second. First watch, second watch, third watch. I'm with the rat. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Kesselman, are you first? Um, well, I'm volunteering my panther. Oh, well, you, got, you have to take watch too. It's only fair. Well, how, how many watches do we have? Three. Three. You're, we've already organized it, yes. So, um, so, I'll watch with, who, who am I doing watch, watch with? Um, who else is first? Right. Should I be here then? Okay, keep. fine. I don't care. Those who want to do first watch, right here. Okay. Second watch, here. Third watch, here. Now, before we nap, if we're, if we're actually going to sleep, shouldn't we use the uh, Oracle's last spell? Yes, uh, have the Oracle heal up whoever you need to. Okay, who uh, who wants to heal? I've got three uh, that I need back. I'm um, fine, so. Does Liz need healing? Or, uh, looks like uh, Crow and uh, Ritten both need help. Yeah, Liz has like one HP from Fall, and she will get that from, from the rest, so. Okay, and how much does uh, Crow need? Uh, I just. I'm three away from full. Okay, and I'm three away from full. How much is your constitution? My constitution is 13. 13. What you can so do is you can make a DC heal check and restore one extra health per day when you rest. DC heal, okay. So yeah, I, either of us can take the, uh, the um, heal spell. And I then the other one will. I think we've established that you guys will heal up full. Yeah. Oh, let's, okay. Let's, just, let's all assume that you uh, you take the time uh, and heal up to full, um, and everything's good. All right. Okay. Uh, let's okay. See. Night is now passing, and oh. when uh, those of you who are not on watch, um, basically, I'm gonna have. Mm -hmm. This isn't I'm just moving you guys really quickly. Does one of us actually own a tent? <laughs> yes. Now, first watch. Position your people where you uh, want to be uh, watching out. Um, I'll take uh, south. You can take north. Andromanus? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What? All right. So uh, your shift passes without much uh, events. So uh, second shift comes. Good sleep. Go ahead, position yourself, guys. I right, sleep in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Click the box. It's so smart. Funny thing, actually, last time Sleeping I went camping, uh, last time I went camping uh, in the middle of the night, one of the girls that was with us uh, wound up almost in the fire pit, spooning the flames. Wow! Like she was curled up almost right around the fire in the pit. Nice. <laughs> you can die that way. Oh yeah. Not from getting burned, but uh, from suffocation. Insulation. Yeah, suffocation. You can also uh, die from getting hit by exploding rocks. <laughs> you can die by a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, second watch, uh, whoever you may be, go ahead and position yourself if you're all we set. Did. Okay. Um, and your night passes without any event. Third watch. Um. Okay. Uh. I'm actually making uh, rolls and checks and stuff. I'll go over here and uh, stoke the fire. 
That way I can get a good look yeah. around here. I'll be uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. No, no, no. Bush. Or so. something like that, I don't know. All right, and uh, sun rises, and uh, nothing has happened. Good. Yay. Yeah. Let's go well, on to the temple. At least you see that nothing has happened. Um, you, uh, when you all wake up and emerge from your tents, it appears that... Uh, let's see. Let this Zug. be a lesson. Never Zug. do watch again. <laughs> Zug, you emerge in the tent and you have stuff on your face. Like markings, paints. Something drew on your face in the middle of the night. The heck? <laughs> <laughs> I have stuff all over my face. Jigglypuff attack. Okay. Uh... I don't have a, a mirror or anything. Does anybody have knowledge of nature? No. <laughs> nope. The ranger the should, have. should have. No, I'm going to get that next level. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> the ranger <laughs> doesn't have knowledge of nature. Make, everybody make I have climb, heal, <laughs> perception, reflex, save, stealth, survival, oh, swim. God. I want to shoot the ranger. Wait, what? So Perception? Perception. Uh, okay. Perception. Uh, there. Perception. I swear, if this is another one... Oh, come on. Ah, uh, finally. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I, um, yeah, I'm just looking up at the oh, clouds, helping this. to myself. La, 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 la. And that happened. Alright, hey, uh, for those of you who actually noticed something, I am going to uh, uh, Skype message you individually. Okay. okay. We gotta go soon. Bye -bye. Why? Where are you going? It's 10 o'clock here. So? So he has... You know, some, to do. some of us have jobs, you know. Jobs? Cha. What is this thing you call responsibility? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, how do I switch to a... Alright, everybody has a message what they heard or saw. Uh, I haven't yet. Um, let's see if oh, I can... Okay. If you didn't get it. If you didn't make no. the, hey the, guys, I hear somebody giggling. Uh, where? Y you're smeared in yeah. in what appears as a rat sperm. Hmm. Rat sperm? Oh yeah. great. Well, we do who to look at. <laughs> Why does everybody sound so weird? Hmm? Probably because your connection's cutting out. Uh, what direction would I hear the giggling from? Uh, you can't tell. Oh. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. It's Jigglypuff. 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 Someone should roll for the Oracle. She should have, like, hearing up the ass. Can we just do a general yeah. knowledge check? For what giggles and draws some people's faces? It's probably Cobalt's. Actually, yeah. Go ahead and make a general knowledge check. And after this, we will uh, uh, call it a day. Uh, apologize for not having too much content today, but... Uh... Thank you. Uh, Aha, 20. It. There. 23. 12. Can I do a Knowledge Arcana check? Uh, no, it's not Arcana. I mean... It... Oh, whatever. No, I still have no idea how to... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. And then, uh... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Lilith don't know shit. Durr. What are we doing?
General knowledge check. Okay. Well, we know it's something laughing. <clears throat> so it's not supernatural. It draws on people's faces. Alright, uh, I PM to people who uh, know something, uh, what they know. Okay. Do you people that know something care to share with us? I think I recall something about there being fairies in the woods that like to mess with people. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well, funny. that's not too concerning. Okay, well, I wash the rat semen off my face, and we continue to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you uh, continue plotting off the temple, and uh, on this note, we are going to cut it off and call it a day. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry for uh, having a bit shorter uh, uh, session. I still am trying to teach myself how to uh, do everything. Well, we killed eight kobolds. Mm -hmm. Yep. That works. Yep, we killed eight kobolds. And we got a bunch of radishes. Yep. Yeah. And I got a head. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Utro, if Jesus you send me that... About the head. If you send me that cheesecake recipe, I will give you five bonus experience. Mm. <laughs> uh, anyways, oh, yeah. it's off to Ross, so cheers for today. Oh, yeah, wait. Um, wait did you is want... to disconnect the server? Or is everyone done with what they need? Yep, I'm done. All right, cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, Alrighty. Where, uh... sh where should I uh, <clears throat> post the video again? I think last time you told me to. Uh, so. I and saved it. the campaign, so we can load it up exactly like it was. In three more in three more weeks, we'll get uh, to level two. Huh. Well, you never okay. know what you run into. Well, no, no. I mean, if we or we continue, oh, yeah. uh, uh, along this path, we'll it'll only take like three weeks. So yeah, which you know, I mean, for eight people, I mean, yeah. that's not bad. So wait, wait, wait. It's how, much, gonna happen. how much experience do we have? Uh, 334 at the moment. 334? Yes. Yep. Alright, so uh, I have to uh, tidy up because I'm having a uh, buddy come over because we are going to be doing old school uh, time splitters, future perfect today. Oh yeah, I've actually got that laying around, like right next to me, I think. Alright, see you guys. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the session, everyone. Yeah, bye. Yeah, that's a fun. Bye bye.